Hi, I'm Ellen McCracken from the Department of Spanish and Portuguese at UCSB. And my current research project is a study of transitional digital literature. <clears throat> That's, that is the movement from print to screen in the early 21st century. This literature is mushrooming right now because of the new accessibility of small, portable e-reading devices such as the Kindle, the Nook, the iPad, and so on. This uh, literature mimics the format of the print book in this transitional stage, and it's primarily word-dominant narrative. It represents a new textuality, not simply a, trans, uh, that's a literature that's transmitted in a different format. The text is now mutable, unstable. So I ask, what kinds of models from traditional literary theory are still viable? For example, Gerard Jeannette's concept of the paratext needs to be adapted and changed to deal with this. For example, we have the Kindle device that, had, that has ads on it shown uh, wine glasses on the screen of the Kindle inviting us to consume wine before we read the literary text. And I ask, how does that shape the different kind of reading experience that's going to take place? Or, for example, Michelle de Sarteau's concept of the poaching reader. How is the reader engaged in a new kind of what I call intra-textuality when he or she links to a word definition or highlights a text or links to what Kindle calls comments by the the literary community who are reading these books. I'm also focusing on the new enhanced novels for portable e-devices, which modify textuality with links to maps and street scenes, video clips, interviews with the author, and so on. And this is one example of William Styron's novel, Lie Down in Darkness, where you have a manuscript from the original novel included in the in the ebook and a video talking about the novel, among many other things. And similar um, enhanced books exist for Jack Kerouac's On the Road and Franz Kafka's work and many, many uh, dozens of others. These are light digital adaptations that still perform, preserve the long form textuality, but nonetheless, they fundamentally change the reader's relationship to the literary text.